Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, let's see how the customer or vendor aging report is calculated in Excel. It is also called accounts receivable or accounts payable aging report. Column E, we have the vendor or customer number. Column F, invoice amount. Column G, we have the invoice date details. In column H, let's calculate the aging by comparing the invoice date with the current date. In column I, based on the aging, we'll prepare the aging buckets and uh, here is the requirement. Now let's calculate the aging. For that, I use uh, today's function to get the current date minus invoice date press enter. Now if this is in the date format. Let's change it from the date to number format or general. So you have the aging. So let me extend the formula. Now that we have the aging, let's have the aging buckets for that i use if function if h5 is less than or equal to 30 comma double quote then the first requirement is 0 to 30 days so 0 to 30 days double quote close comma again if uh, H5 is less than or equal to uh, let me move this from here okay now next uh, requirement is 31 to 60 so if H5 is less than or equal to 60 then double quote 31 to 60 days double quote close comma if H5 is less than or equal to 90 then 61 to 90 days then again if h5 is less than or equal to 180 180 days then 91 to 180 days comma if d5 less than or equal to 365 then it is 181 to 365 days comma and the last argument is if h5 is greater than or equal to sorry it should be greater than is 365 then requirement is uh, it should the result should be greater than 365 days okay I see I need to make some changes here here it should be h5 okay now the formula is updated let's close this all the open brackets press enter now here is the aging let's extend this so here 